Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to look at another stream API question. Given a list of employees with their names and department names, write a stream API solution to find the department that has the maximum number of employees. So we have a list of employees given with name and their departments and we just need to find out the department which has the maximum number of employees. So as we can see that IT is having four and that is the one we need to print as that is the highest. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to group all the departments together, the common one. Right, we need to group common departments together. So for that, we will use collectors dot grouping by. And here we need to group the departments. So the object method reference and a method which should be present in this particular class has to be used. So get department. So get department, this method will already be created like when you are creating the getter setters for this particular object, right? And then we need to use collectors dot counting. And this gives us back a map. So a map of string and long and how do we get that? This is the string part and this is the long part. Let's quickly check what we got till now. Okay, great. So everything is grouped and we just need it is equals to four as that is the highest. All right. Now we have our map present. We need to use entry set over this so that it's converted into a set. And then we will convert it to a stream so that we can use stream operations on that and then max. So we have a method present that is uh, comparing by value so that we get the highest value as uh, we see four is the highest number and we need to compare on the basis of the value. So that is why we are using comparing by value and we will get an optional here as we have used max. So let's call it max department and this will take map entry and string along as we had earlier. Now what do we have in max department? Great. So we have the answer but that is an optional and we don't need the answer as optional. So we will use if present. So we use if present on our optional to check if the value is present or not because it may so happen that a value may not be present. So that is why we check it. And then we simply print the value. Get key. I don't need this. And there we got our answer. So I'm hoping you understood this question. I saw this being frequently asked. So I thought why not like create a video out of it. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up in the next video.